deadlifts, touch and go. So when you're doing deadlifts for multiple reps, um, there's a couple things to keep in mind. Obviously when you begin, you want to start like any other deadlift, so your proper setup position. Shins are going to be back, weight is towards the back of the foot, so it's basically in that front part of your heel. You want all the slack and all the um, loose, anything loose out of your body. So pulling the shoulders down away from your ears, engaging the lats, arms are straight. Um, we're going to do mixed grip today, so that's going to help keep the bar close to the body if you use the mixed grip versus the overhand grip, all right? So when you set up, when you get to that bottom of that setup, you want to be in fully braced. So you're creating that tension from the inside out, bracing your spine. As you begin to pull, you're pushing the floor away, bringing up the hips and shoulders at the same time, keeping the bar nice and tight to your body, all right? So that first rep, locking in, bracing, pulling up to the top. So as you can see, I can still breathe and talk and still have tension in my body. This is where if you need to take that extra breath or when you're breathing, you're gonna do it at the top of the range of motion. As you go back down, you're hinging the hips back, weight shifts to your heel, bar stays right by your legs, and then at the bottom, that's when you wanna make sure you have that absolute tension again. So if you're again, if you're taking the breath, you're taking it at the top. When you hit the bottom to touch and go, you wanna have ultimate tension. So you've, got, you've inhaled in and you're creating that pressure out. Make sure you're braced as you touch and go at the bottom. Every rep should be starting from the same position. So wherever your start setup position is, when you come back down, you're going to that same place. It shouldn't vary, be very consistent. 